Welcome to Two Old Guys Sitting in the Balcony, or wherever we are sitting. We actually forgot where we're sitting. And uh, uh, talking <laughs> about some vintage films and TV programs. And today, we have one that I think I may remember. Maybe it's just got a confusing name. It was Pistols and Petticoats, and I know there's a Petticoats Junction. And But anyway, it was short lives. But uh, there were a whole range of these kind of programs going on in the mid-60s. And uh, we thought you might get a kick out of them on the uh, Vintage Film Channel, Petty Pistols and Petticoats, Series 1, Episode petticoats. 7. Yeah, yeah. This, this, uh, this was a series that only ran one year mm. for a tragic reason, which we'll get into a little, little later. Um, it ran from 66 to 67, that season, that winter, if you will. Right. And I remember that real well, not the show, but I remember that season real well. I was still in college. And uh, if you take a look at the picture over here on the left, um, this is the family. There's Grandpa, who looks for all the world like Gabby Hayes, but he's not. It's Doug Frawley, F Fowley, pardon me. Oh, yeah. uh, Grandma. And then there's the star of the show, who is Ann Sheridan, and her uh, girl who plays her daughter is on the left. Why don't you hit the, hit the uh, play button, Art? Uh, so the story is this family... In a, uh, it's just, by the way, it's a, it's a lighthearted uh, kind of a sitcom set in the Old West, 1870-ish. And uh, this family kind of runs the town of Wretched, Colorado. And just the name of the town alone right. can kind of tell you what's going on. Um, and as you can see, Ann Sheridan is uh, past her prime. She was once a knockout doll who uh, acted with the likes of Cagney and Bogart and Angels with Dirty Faces, if you remember that. Uh, she was appeared with Cary Grant. Um, I have another note here. Drive by Night. She was the girlfriend Drive by Night with George Raft, if yeah. you remember that movie. So she was a very versatile actress, um, good-looking woman. Here she is at 50 years old or 51 years old. Um, and her career was kind of waning, but she's still a, a very recognizable name, very attractive woman. And they built a sitcom around her. Well, I got to tell you, why would they build a Western comedy in 1966? Because listen to the list of all these shows right. <laughs> that were on the air. First of all, the number one show on television during this season was Bonanza. Remember that? How about that for a Western? Gunsmoke was still on the air. The Virginian was on the air. Uh, Wild Wild West was on the air during this season. And the one I think this really relates to is F Troop. Yes. Um, it, was it, was, it was silly. silly it was silly Western, right? Yeah. But it was also the same season that Green Acres, Beverly Hills, and Petticoat Junction, uh, a, a trio of, you know, uh, rural comedies, if you will, modern rural comedies, were, was uh, holding forth. They were doing great. So, Every every producer in the world would love to have Ann Sheridan on a lighthearted Western comedy. As a matter of fact, um, one of your one of your favorite, John, was Barbara Stanwyck. And wasn't she in a a, a big uh, a production during the same period of time? She was Barbara Stanwyck. Big Valley was mm. was on the air. So listen, this was you can see why they would want to do a show like this. Right. Um, and and it could have been very successful. It ran for a full season. The shows are pretty good. Um, this, you know, this is a lighthearted comedy plot. So the town is uh, is like Western towns doesn't have a lot of women, and somebody thinks that there's a bunch of mail order brides coming to town. Okay, as Ann Sheridan with uh, on the left, and she looks pretty good in this. She, she really unfortunately does. doesn't look quite so good in uh, in a lot of the scenes, but um, it's a well done show. It's fun, lighthearted. You know, it's not a complicated uh, drama plot, but uh, I think you'll enjoy it, especially the nostalgia of that era yeah. uh, of Western uh, comedies and uh, dramas. It, it really holds up well. Um, <laughs> Carol Wells plays the daughter, and uh, Vincent is the cowboy. By the way, the Indian chief, who doesn't appear in this particular episode, uh, okay. Chief something Eagle. What is it? Uh, Chief well, Eagle Shadow. Yeah, Jay Silverhills, uh, who played Tonto. No. <laughs> no. 
Lon Chaney Jr. Oh, plays Lon, the but Jay Philbin uh, was in this as well, playing an, uh, uh, an Indian character from time to time. Uh, he was oh, the really? One, he was the one who had played Tonto. So they they had sure. a, they had a lot of people in here that made this yeah. an attractive uh, series. F Troopy, yes. Uh, yeah. But uh, why don't you talk about the track again and why it didn't go on? Certainly one of the reasons why it wouldn't have gone on beyond the year. Well, the main reason is that uh, Aunt Sheridan developed cancer hmm. and she was dead the next year. So there was she certainly was never going to be in season two. And I think maybe they looked at the landscape of all these Western shows that were most of them are hits of one kind or another. Uh, they weren't all Bonanza, you know, but they were a lot of hits there. And they probably said, well, you know, without Ann Sheridan, what have we got? And um, and decided not to do a season two without her. Right. And for so, instance, if it were like The Witch, where they could keep replacing the husband because he wasn't, he was like the supporting actor. So they had, what, the three or four Darrens, uh, but they couldn't, they couldn't do away with Ann Sheridan. How were yeah. they going to replace her? Anyway, listen, it's worth watching. Go to VintageFilmChannel.com yeah. or YouTube slash Vintage Film Channel. Look up uh, Pistols and Petticoats. Even the name sounds like Petticoat Junction, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, and look it up and, and watch. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful little show. You'll, you'll get a kick out of it. You'll, like me, wonder why they didn't do more, why they didn't do a second season with somebody else. And, and it's also... A great excuse to look up the, the biography of Ann Sheridan. Um, she's a very wonderful actress, very versatile, uh, played uh, beautiful women, played uh, vulnerable women. Uh, and here she is at, towards the end of her career. This, yeah. I think this show would have renewed her career uh, incredibly had yeah, she lived. It's a, it's a shame that she had passed, but in any yeah. event... It's on the the important thing. It's on the Vintage Film Channel, and there's lots of stuff like this. Some very not well known because of, in this case, it was canceled after a year uh, because of the unfortunate circumstance with Ann Sheridan. But there are lots of things like this, just jewels that um, uh, we think you're going to enjoy because we enjoy it, and we haven't run out of stuff that we found enjoyable there and we've got a, yeah. a whole list of things that we're continuing to look at so anyway thank you for joining us today uh please uh, subscribe to the vintage film channel to encourage grace to continue doing what she's doing go take a look at our uh youtube channel uh celebrating act two with the number two and uh, uh like us and subscribe to us and we're going to come see you again uh, uh, next week. So thank you. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.